Kuwait strikes down anti-trans law. On February 16th, the Constitutional Court of Kuwait overturned Article 198 of the Kuwaiti Penal Code, which criminalizes, quote, imitating the appearance of a member of the opposite sex. In a publication in 2009, the United Nations Human Rights Committee insisted that Article 198 is a violation of the uh, Yogya Karta principles guaranteed by the International Convent of Civil, Civil and Political Rights. In December 2021, the Constitutional Court of Kuwait accepted a legal challenge against Article 198. The major ruling was warmly welcomed by human rights activists and advocacy groups for the LGBTQ community. Amnesty International called the verdict a breakthrough for transgender rights. Uh, uh, Sheikha uh, Sheikha Salmin, an activist and lawyer involved in um, the case of a persecuted transgender woman, welcomed the ruling and also warned by saying the fight is back is going to be vicious for sure. Meaning that the conservatives are not going to let this, you know, they're not going to take it lying down. Um, what motivated them to push forward with this? Like is international pressure? So um, not really. There was a case of this, this one um, frequently persecuted um, or, or has judicially harassed um, transgender women that really pushed this to the forefront. Um, um, let me really quickly. Um, so October, Mahal al Mutari, a 40 year old trans woman, was uh, sentenced to two years in prison and a fine of, of 1,000 Kuwaiti dinars for, quote, imitating the opposite sex, among other. A lawyer told Human Rights Watch at the time that the court had used. Um, uh, uh, Al Mutari's social media videos as evidence to convict her as she could be seen wearing makeup, speaking about her trans identity, allegedly making sexual advances, and criticizing the Kuwaiti government. Al Mutari told Human Rights Watch that it was the sixth time she had been arrested due to her trans identity. She is currently being held in Kuwait's prison, central prison for men. Uh, and then, uh, so her lawyer was the one saying that this is a step in the right direction and that the the this article was unconstitutional and that couldn't be debated. Um, and yes, they're like, there's going to be a lot of backlash for this, but it, it's been ruled. And specifically, it was, quote, inconsistent with the Constitution's keenness to ensure and preserve personal freedom. So we had a story, wasn't this was our earlier story about Kuwait as well with the yoga stuff? Yes. Okay, so that's we were suggesting in that story that Kuwait is going backwards, but this one suggests that they're going forwards, right? Like that was like, um, so what does the uh, what do you think? Um, it's a mixed bag because yeah. in the previous story where we we're talking about the crackdown on the yoga situation, that's about the authorities exerting their power to stop this from happening and you know it, it conservative figures really speaking out against this um for people who don't know we were talking that, about women not being able to do yoga because it was sexual and depraved and pagan so indecent yoga indecent and yoga was being banned in um kuwait so it seemed like things were getting more islamic in kuwait but now we're getting this story about anti um strikes striking down anti-trans law which i think kind of suggests, yeah a big difference is that there's a there's a large difference between the the judiciary making a decision about the constitutionality of something and then actually the state using its power to enforce various attitudes which is what we saw with the previous stories about the crackdown on the yoga retreat so they Ew. just happened they just happened to use the fact that they apparently didn't have the right permitting to prohibit this event from happening. Right? So 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 you're saying what we're saying that is Kuwait is actually getting more Islamic in attitude. It's about the but the tools that they have with the law is limited to be able to express that increase Islamization, right? So even with the yoga stuff, they had to go after it with stuff that hasn't anything to do with the accusations that they were making. 
like they didn't have the tool the law was not providing them the tools to be able to say oh this is depraved therefore should be banned they were like oh permitting stuff and with mm -hmm. this even even if kuwait is getting more islamized uh, legally they don't have the tools to fight this because it's in the constitution so like if the lawyer is going to strike down anti-trans laws if it's so if it's directly against the constitution even if conservatives are getting the upper hand they just it's just hard to fight this because the constitution is not on their side right so it's still possible that kuwait again I'm not, I'm not sure if it is or not it is still possible that kuwait is becoming more islamized but the laws that they have is not in their favor to be able to you know bend make others bend and bend to their will is that a fair possibility to suggest um i can't really speak to like the possibilities or whatever i was just trying to make the distinction between you know just the the judiciary making a decision about something versus how the state actually enforces different attitudes by exerting its power so, so right yeah yes <laughs> mustafa, is saying. mustafa is saying kuwait trans people are welcome but not yoga instructors <laughs> Those oh yeah horrors. but like i mean this is this is a joke though like but it's more complicated because even like conservatives like it's just it's not about what they it's not just about what they want it's also about what they can do given the laws right so it's more like what eventually ends up happening is more complicated than what the desires and attitudes are right so i just hope like the conservatives fail it's it does seem like kuwait does have like the fact that even with the yoga stuff they didn't have any laws that could make them like oh this is depraved therefore you can't, can't get to do it they have to use other ways it shows that kuwait's laws are more progressive than these conservative attitudes right so i just hope the laws <laughs> they, they keep those laws <laughs> right um but yeah so this is progress this is good news um, I wanted to say something else, I forgot though. Um, yeah, anything you want to add before? We go well, it'll just speech? be very interesting to see what the backlash to this is going to be. Right. You know, so just because this article or this penal code, this ask, this article of the penal code has been, you know, struck down, that doesn't mean that there aren't going to be other forms of law that they use to go after gender nonconforming people, because that was certainly the case in America particularly here in San Francisco, there were a lot of anti cross dressing laws. And then when those were struck down, they would go after them with other things, mm -hmm. technicalities. So I wouldn't be yeah, surprised but, if that happens too. But you know, I, I, that is really bad, but have, in removing tools that is still progress. People can like, I, some people might be motivated to be like, Oh, well, they're still going to do this and this and that like removing the tools that they have, the legal tools that they have to go after trans people, that is still progress that will still limit what they can do. So that is, um, it's not a black and white thing. Right. Um, okay. All right. Can you talk to the live chat while I go to the bathroom before we do the last news? All right. I'll just read some. <laughs> okay. Okay. Go ahead. I'll just read some, read some chat. Um, Beep Boop is saying, uh, you may not be aware, but Kuwait, go Kuwait government has anti Hindu sentiments after the Bob Babri demolition. They banned Hindus in their country. What? I don't believe this. They banned Hindus in their country. It's believed they were involved in funding groups. I'm, I don't, I'm, but I'm not going to read the rest of this because I can't, Ms. Susanna, I wish she were here because I can't confirm whether this is true or not. Like, I don't think Kuwait like banned all Hindus from their countries. Is that true? Um, okay. Let me see what else people are saying in the live chat. We have one more news to go. You're just fighting with each other. Yeah. Secular rarity saying this last news was a little bit of a whiplash <laughs> because uh but Kobe, but i'm still happy about this yes it's, it's a good news yeah harris saying i think that's bs yeah I, it doesn't sound right i don't think like i think it would be a much bigger news if kuwait was just like oh yeah no hindus in our country i think that would be like a much bigger news than i think we would have been if we would have heard about this hey guys if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy cali you know like me then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter link in the description below 
because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.